Hi, welcome back to another episode of Art with Lise, with me, Lise. Today we're in a bit of an interesting setting here, um, which is complementary to our theme today and what we will be working on, which is uh, how to draw social unrest. Um, I'm feeling a little unrestful right now, which is why I'm filming this at night, um, kind of going a little counterculture and against the norm. Um, it, it's, it's a little, uh, you know, tongue-in-cheek, if you will. Um, so to start off with, we are going to have to kind of ask ourselves, uh, what is social unrest? Um, and to answer that, I think it's important to kind of gauge what social rest itself is. And I will have to say that the way that I think social rest is, is it's a complacency. It's, uh, it's when people are sleeping at night and they are, are getting um, a, a recuperating sort of uh, action within their bodies. And uh, that kind of ties into what the concept of social rest is. I mean, social person, rest, you know, sleeping. So to start off with, let's, let's kind of bring up those colors that rest uh, sort of evokes um, being as such, uh, you know, slumber. When I think slumber, I think the nighttime. Um, you can, of course, obviously take naps during the daytime. Um, you know, I'm not a monster. So, getting my black here, it's getting nice and dark. It's very nighttime. Um, and in the spirit of rest and social rest, um, you know, it's never a bad idea to take a break, um, you know, while you're working. I've been at this now for a good 45 seconds, um, and I definitely feel like I've earned a bit of rest myself. So I'm gonna just kind of sit and recuperate a little bit. You at home can certainly sit and recuperate, um, kind of catch your breath, um, you know, and don't worry, you don't have the virus. Um, you're just working hard. So I'm going to throw some black back up here uh, in the form of the oil pastel. You know, I thought I would cut corners um, and use a charcoal. It didn't work though, obviously. Um, and that's upsetting to me that it didn't work, which is perfect for the subject matter here, that social unrest. I know a lot of people around the world are upset right now. Um, and in the United States, there are some major demonstrations and protests that are going on and occurring throughout the country. Um, and they all have to do with social unrest. I don't really watch the news, uh, but I gather that it has something to do with, um, you know, people being kind of tired, um, being awoken from a nap, um, you know, not having enough money to, you know, feed their, their animals or, you know, themselves, families, I guess. Um, there, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of reason to be unrestful. So kind of taking it out on the, on the paper here, um, my own feverish unrest. Um, I'm not feeling like I did get a great sleep, um, so it, it's it's gonna show here, and we kind of want that to come through in in our picture. I don't know about you, but my nights are often filled with a, a little bit of tossing and turning, um, you know, a whole lot of night terrors and that sort of thing. So the the frantic motion that's in here, that unrest that's underlying within the softness of sleep and nighttime slumber, uh, works, works well to, uh, to, you know, serve its purpose and, uh, make sense of what it is that we're, we're trying to, to get across here. 
So I, I'm feeling a little restless already about this piece here. The, the, the blending is not going as planned. It, it's really having, I'm really struggling to get this blending going and across. Um, it's not working as smoothly as I, as I anticipated, um, which is, it's upsetting me a little bit. Um, it's perfect for the theme. That's exactly what we're going for. So, you know, kind of tap into, uh, that sense within yourselves, um, where you're, you're looking for what is it that upsets you? Um, what sorts of actions, what sorts of people, what sorts of words, what sorts of emotions, what sorts of um, locations, what sorts of times, days, what sorts of jobs, um, what sorts of ethnicities, what sorts of genders, what sorts of uh, religions, what sorts of, uh, you know, countries, what sorts of languages. What are the things that, that get you riled up? What gets you fired up in your blood? So again, really tap in, try to find what it is that upsets you and gets you riled up. Um, you know, is it your child? Is it your spouse? Um, is it a neighbor's pet that's keeping you up at night? Um, start to kind of focus in on the things that are upsetting you the most. Um, are you being judged at work or on the streets for, you know, how you look or how you act or what you say, what you believe in? Um, are, are you being judged by that? Uh, there, there's, there's a hint of underlying uh, uh, entitlement, you know, that comes from asking for basic decency and to be treated like a, a human being. I mean, what is a human being? When someone's asking to be treated like just a person, I mean, do you, who do you think you are? You know, get off your high horse. We'd all love to be treated with basic human decency, but that's not the way the world works. You know, what sort of destruction, what sort of a uh, loud yelling or commotion is it that you can cause that uh, will get you more and more fired up like you just drank a couple of Red Bulls. That's what you're looking for when tackling the subject matter. So we're taking that chaos and again we're, we're kind of softening it up um, to on the one hand try to restore order or rest um, and on the other hand uh, take out our own frustration at this injustice that uh, that we're feeling you know a great thing about social unrest and about uh, protests and and um, reform calls for reform um, is the fact that you know a lot of people get together and there's a great energy in there you know albeit a little destructive I'll be a little angry. There's a great energy in there. You know, everyone has a common uh, goal or cause, whether it's, you know, to, you know, bring back the times to how they were, you know, uh, pre, you know, the abolition of slavery, uh, whether you're trying to bring that things back to, you know, a time when races were, were separate. Um, you know, there's a good camaraderie that's uh, bound to take place in these sorts of social settings where there is a common goal. We, we are, we're having an issue right now in society with the police and with the fact that the police um, really need um, a lot, lot better discounts at the stores that they go to. Um, I was going to a store and I asked if they had a discount for law enforcement and they told me no um, and you know asked like you know well what branch are you in and I said no I'm not associated I'm not actually in law enforcement I was just curious and you know they sort of gave me an interesting look that made me a little less restful 
um, because I did feel like I was being judged for asking such a thing. Um, however, you know, that's fine. I'm going to voice my opinion on the matter right here on this platform. I'm going to voice it here, uh, here on the internet and let everyone know exactly how I feel, okay? And you can kind of symbolize this as like, you know, striking down um, uh, onto the ground, you know, like throwing a bottle onto the ground because you're so, you're so mad. Um, you're so upset with the way things are, or the way things aren't. Um, um, so, you know, I would throw down a couple bottles of beer over that, to be honest. Um, and, you know, I'm in my studio here. I, I might, you know, do it later in the privacy of my own home with the cameras off, you know, take out a little bit of violent rage on my furniture. Um, however, in this setting, this context, um, it, it's much better to re-channel, redirect that uh, energy and that focus into your artwork. Um, this is the beautiful thing about art is it provides an outlet for um, un, unfulfilled rage because it's making me upset that it, it's taken this turn. I'm gonna kind of throw a wrench in there and try to kind of undo what I just did. Um, this piece here, it's looking positively darling. I, whoops. Well, that's bound to happen sometimes. And at this point, we're looking at our piece and we're searching for the unrest within. And honestly, I'm a little upset because I can't find it. Um, I can't find exactly what my unrest is. Um, and that really is bothering me. I, I have my own social issues, and I do um, have things that to be upset about, and I can't think of them, and that is really getting to me at this point in time, and, and honestly, this is just fucking garbage, just, just stupid. I don't even know why I make art. I don't even know what the point of this is. I don't, e I don't even seriously get it, and um, honestly, why even pursue it? Why even continue forward? Um, just give up. Just, just fucking give up. Just... And there you have it. Um, I think we've, we've done a fine example of pulling up, uh, civil unrest. We can kind of see the lines in there. We can see the unrest within, um, that which is getting to us the most. Um, I hope that this tutorial has been informative for you. I hope that it's brought up your own unrest and your own bugbears on social issues. Um, thanks for joining me for another tutorial, another episode of Art with Lise. I hope you take care, stay safe, and um, join some riots. Alright, take care. Bye.